Hi everyone, uh, this is in response to a request on Reddit to uh, do a tutorial on one of the hardest ships in the game, if not the hardest ship in the game, and that is the NGB, otherwise known as the Vortex. Uh, so looking at this ship, why is this considered one of the hardest ships to play? Well, there are four things uh, that are seriously wrong with this ship, so I'll go from uh, the worst thing to the least worst thing. Uh, the worst thing, of course, is that you only have uh, one crew. You have uh, Yaz here, my single NG, uh, on a lone crusade to save the uh, Federation. Um, and that's just bad. We don't get any bonuses for having any of our stations manned. We don't have the ability uh, to repel borders well. Uh, we don't have the ability to quickly repair things that we need to get repaired. Uh, supposedly, you are uh, going to rely on these drones down here and this drone reactor booster anti-personnel drone to fend off borders and the system repair drones to keep things uh, repaired but unfortunately the AI for these guys is pretty bad uh, and they will never repair the things that you want in the order that you want them repaired they will never attack the borders and the most optimal path um, so uh, these things are utterly inferior to actually having crew um, so moving on to the next uh, bad thing about the ship is the weapon setup. So you have a heavy ion and a heavy laser. So the heavy ion takes a whopping 13 seconds to charge and the only thing it's going to do is it's going to knock essentially one ship bubble off a ship for 10 seconds. Um, and even if you had it fully manned and uh, uh, even if you had it fully manned, it would only go down to uh, a recharge slightly longer than 10 seconds. So there's no way to make this thing link unless you have an automated reloader. And that's uh, just not something that's really kind of practical. Um, backing it up, you have the heavy laser, which is a pretty good weapon. Um, it fires fast and it does a lot of damage per hit. But, of course, it only takes down one shield bubble when it hits, so if you want to do any damage against the ship with one shield, both of these things need to hit. So you got to wait 13 seconds and fire the heavy ion. If it hits, then you can start do da doing damage with your heavy laser. If this thing misses, well, you got to wait another 13 seconds to, uh, to shoot again. And so you get a couple misses in a row, a couple of bad rolls with the heavy ion, and you're just going to get fried. And because it also takes 13 seconds to shoot, well, your opponent is pretty much guaranteed to shoot at you first. So he's got an opportunity to knock out your weapons before you even get a chance to fire. So this needs to be fixed right away. Uh, next bad thing, uh, one engine. Uh, just about, uh, as, and it's, it synergizes uh, doubly bad with the fact that you've only got one crew. So you don't even get the extra 5% for having somebody hanging out in your engine bay. So you are stuck at 10% dodge um, until you can upgrade your engines and get some crew. The final bad thing about this thing is uh, the airlock positioning is not great. It's actually pretty difficult to vent this ship, especially this section up here. Uh, if there are fires up here or things like that, you're not going to be able to put them out easily. And you don't have sensors, so... Uh, even just finding where you're on fire might be a trick as well. Uh, if it, this ship had airlocks up in this corner, it would probably be a pretty good layout, but it doesn't, so it's not. Um, what does the Vortex have going for it? Um, well, uh, all of this stuff here sells for, I think, around 82 scrap, which is just about what you would need to buy two crew members. And two crew members are going to be so superior to, to these things, even if they're humans. Um, we're going to be, the first store that we find, if we've got any sort of scrap at all, we're going to be pulling in, selling off all this crap, and buying crew. Hopefully they've got crew that we can buy. And it doesn't even matter what, we just want crew. Um, if you're lucky enough to get some events early on that give you crew, um, then you can sell this stuff off and get something else nice. Uh, but this is this is junk and you're going to want to get rid of it unless you're playing some weird uh, masochistic challenge mode where you only want one crew for the whole game or something bizarre like that um, 
uh, the weapons. If you get a uh, you know uh, a nice two shot weapon like a, a burst laser one or a hull laser one, that's gonna be okay uh, to support these things uh, for some time. Uh, you don't you need a new weapon before you get to sector three, but you're not gonna need a whole lot of new weapons before you get to sector three. Uh, and this is a uh, you know this is a three weapon three drone ship, so you're gonna be looking at maybe using some drones to support your offensive capabilities later on. Um, and that pretty much covers the... Oh, there's one other uh, good thing about this ship. It's not really that great a thing, but it's there. Um, the Your your reactor starts with two uh, uh, energy to help power your drones uh, early on. And since, like I said, we're going to plan to get rid of these, that means we're going to have two extra energy in the reactor right away. So we can rush up to level two shields and actually use them all the time uh, fairly easily once we've managed to get rid of all of this uh, junk down here. So that's it. A uh, lot of flaws, not a lot of uh, advantages. Uh, as soon as you hit start, the clock is ticking um, for you to upgrade your ship. And if you fall behind, uh, you will die uh, in a horrible way. I named my engine ships after a famous computer, so I'll name this one the Univac. Um, now let's go ahead and get started. I'm playing on hard mode and I have advanced edition enabled. Now the ship can and will wipe. Um, and what I mean by wipe is, I mean, you, you will run into an encounter early on, just like you can in a stealth, and there's nothing you can do. You just die. Um, and this is one of the ships that's prone to it. Uh, and if it happens, it happens. It's FTL, man. Get over it. Um, but what we want to do is we want to try and avoid wiping before we can upgrade that weapon and uh, get a crew. So the first ship we run into, fortunately for us, is an auto scout with no, uh, no uh, weapons, or I'm sorry, no shields. And here, having the uh, quick firing heavy laser is going to help us out because we are going to be able to shoot this thing and get a shot in. Now I managed to ionize us. But we were able to ionize them back. And this should be a fairly straightforward exchange here. We should be able to keep his weapon suppressed. Let's go ahead and try and hit his... Uh... That didn't even matter. So we get 10 scrap from the salvage. Another 17 from the outpost. So that's pretty nice. We got 27 scrap here on our first ship. Now 27 scrap plus the scrap that we could get from selling off our stuff, that's definitely enough to get us uh, two crew member. So we're going to pull into any stores that we see and try and buy us some uh, uh, crew. Um, so this is a d damaged and dilapidated space station with abandoned, uh, appears to be abandoned, faint life signatures. I could board this ship and look for survivors, but this is also another thing about the NGB. With you only got one crew, if you do any events which might run the risk of losing crew, um, the game ends. You're done. And I'm pretty sure that one of the things that I could uh, could happen here is I could uh, lose a crew member. So. I don't want to run the risk of losing the game on my second jump, so I'm just going to scrap this thing for debris and we'll move on. Uh, still haven't found my store, uh, so keep plugging along. Uh, yeah, we want to attack the pirate. This is uh, not not a great encounter. He's got a burst laser two here, so that can do some pretty serious hurt to us. And he... Now, did I get off my... I got off my ion shot. I think it's still in flight. 
I'm gonna get my repair drones going. And I did get it off. So what I did was I, I immediately switched out and put my heavy laser on. So this is gonna give me my heavy laser shot. But I lost a little bit of energy off my heavy laser, so I might not be able to get a second shot in. But that's okay. Um, because I was able to knock out his burst laser too. Let's get the heavy ion charging again. Are we going to be able to get off? Let's try. Ah, just barely missed it. Now one thing, if you're paying attention, you probably heard when I hit his weapons, we had that breach sound. So that's one of the nice things about the heavy laser is, is that it tends to breach, it tends to set things on fire. And when that happens, a breach is going to take twice as long for him to repair. A fire, obviously, is going to have to put that fire out. Um, all good things. So plus one for the heavy laser. He's trying to get away with uh, uh, get away from us, so we'll take our next shot, put that into his helm. Delayed. We should be able to get the next shot off before he can charge up his burst laser again. And we do. So we scrap him and we contact the settlement. And they give us a little extra scrap. So we got 62 scrap now. Um, let's see if there's a store around. There's no store around. So we know we're going to probably fight some more things. Let's go ahead and bump ourselves up to those level 2 shields. So level 2 shields at this stage of the game it's going to make us uh, pretty much safe against a number of configurations that we're going to see. Um, find a small station that appears to be abandoned. Let's move in and examine. And we're being boarded. So one of the things that I usually do this and I just neglected to um, there's no reason for me to have any oxygen back there at all. So we're going to vent that whole thing, which will force whoever's boarding us to come directly to our uh, uh, med bay. He only has one shot, so I can turn off my shields and power my anti-personnel drone. I'm not really sure why, but he just stood there and fought. Oh, yeah, because he doesn't have a teleporter to bring him back on. So, um, the good news is we were able to repel those borders. The bad news is that he's got a supercharger here, so he has effectively two shields. Um, I was fortunate enough to hit it with my ion. If it blows up, I might have a chance to uh, get through his shields here. But normally this would be a complete and utter stalemate. Yeah. So I really don't know what to do on this one. I mean, what I, you know, I can set my guns up to auto fire like this, and I can hope that just by pure luck, I end up hitting that uh, auto drone or the shield drone. Mm-hmm. 
Now what I'm noticing is, is that my shots are coming, keep coming in at the same angle. So let's be really, really sneaky here. Let's try and pick this thing off. Okay, right about now. And of course, then they come in at a different angle. So this is a stalemate. Um, I'm just going to wait for... My personnel drone to fully heal. And then we can get out of here. So let's keep going. An unremarkable system. Let's keep moving on. So if this were a uh, non-asteroid I would be completely invulnerable to this but I do not have that luck so uh, I got a border I need two energy I can either drop my shields or drop my evasion to zero let's uh, go ahead and drop my evasion to zero and send my anti-personnel drone and let's hope that we can uh, take out his weapons and we did not Sorry, I was focusing on the uh, gun battle there a little bit. This is an opportunity to get an extra shot in. So let's get our uh, oxygen back on and our engines turned back on. A prudent person would wait for this thing to charge all the way back up to 150, but. Well, I guess we can, while we're waiting for our FTL to charge, don't need the heavy ion on. We still have not found the store that we we're looking for. Uh, advanced hacking tools have shut down our engines which is kind of funny because like we don't have engines so that's a waste of their time now we're completely invulnerable to the ship you can only do one shield damage and the beam is not going to be a threat to us at all so this one should be fairly academic take out his weapons first Followed up with a shot to his shields. And finally we will knock out his helm. Another good chunk of scrap. I've seen this node. I haven't seen this one down here. Again, another ship that we're completely invulnerable to now that we have the level 2 shields. Ooh. 
So it's difficult to overstate how important getting to level 2 shields uh, is for this ship. I mean, it's important for pretty much every ship that you can, um, but super critical for this one because it somewhat makes up for the slow firing weapons that you can uh, get through encounters a little more easily now. I take this. This might give me more of an opportunity to explore. Because it'll slow him down. So let's head into here. But there's nothing here. Okay, so we got our story. So what do we do when we hit our first store? Repeat after me. We sell our crap. And we get crew. So we got a rock, we got uh, a Zoltan, we got an NG. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. 137. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up Zoltan and the NG. Sorry, Mr. Rock. Uh, we'd love to get you, but uh, just don't have the the cash. Uh, we're doing great for fuel, we're doing great for uh, our health, and now we have a somewhat functioning crew. We'll put our NG in the engine compartment, so now we got another 5%. Put our Zoltan in the weapons, which will help keep him charged. Um, and this is, since now we have an extra piece of energy, uh, we'll go ahead and immediately jump up one for our engines. Um, in fact, we can uh, even go so far as to jump up two right now, uh, but we would have to fight without our oxygen on. Uh, not that critical. Uh, is he gonna... I can gamble the whole game here on whether or not the uh, exit is within the next or not. I'm going to say it's not. And I was wrong. You know, we could have we hit one extra node, but man, uh, by a pixel. So let's uh, move on to the next sector. Uh, Zoltans are the Uncharted Nebula. Well, we got a lot of fuel, so we can go to the Uncharted Nebula, but look at the crap that we got in front of us. Just nothing but purple and red. Uh, green is all the way down here. So, what do we say we needed before we got to Sector 3? We need a weapon. Uh, what do we have in Zoltan Controlled Sectors? We got lots of stores. So let's go to the Zoltan Controlled Sector. Right at this point, we're not going to be spending any more money until we find ourselves that weapon. Unfortunately, there's the store that we probably wanted. Um, So thankfully we fought this guy in an asteroid field that took out his Zoltan shields before we had to contend with them, making this pretty much an academic fight. And we get to my least favorite thing in the whole game, uh, pulsars. So this thing is going to basically knock our entire shields offline uh, as soon as it goes off. Now I have two choices. I can, right before that thing goes off, I can turn my shield power off and then turn it right back on again, um, which would allow me to have shields. But that pulsar, 
ionization is going to go to something else. And if it goes to my weapons, well, then I'm pretty much just as equally screwed. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave my shields on. He's going to fire before the pulsar hits. But I'm not going to fire now. I'm going to wait for that pulsar to hit and drop his shields. And now I'm going to blow away his weapons. pretty well. But of course I've got hit in order to make it work. One more shot should do it. been fortunate, uh, fortunate that I haven't gotten my weapons ionized for at least one round. So I'm happy with that. Uh, and we have 50 scrap. And that's just enough to get us um, a decent weapon if they have it. Hull laser one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sell off my heavy ion with that whole laser one. Uh, not, certainly not a great uh, boost in firepower, but it's better. Um, and it's going to give us a chance, at least in sectors three and four. Uh, but I'm certainly going to be looking to uh, you know, get those, get another weapon uh, as quickly as possible. But uh, we can give them fuel, and they're going to upgrade our reactor by one. Thank you. We've already been here, so let's keep plugging along. So let's try and head up, up into here, make up for the time we lost. Now the hull laser does charge a little bit slower uh, than Actually, no, I think it charges a little faster than the, uh... I'd have to take a look. Anyhow, doesn't matter. Now, the beauty of the hull laser isn't that it does double damage to systemless rooms. The beauty of the hull laser is uh, it's got a pretty good chance to breach and set fire, just like the heavy laser does. So, if you're slamming it into system rooms, uh, you're going to be uh, knocking them out. And you're going to be forcing them not to repair it, uh, or at least delaying the amount of time that it requires to repair it. See, now I got a nice breach on him, so his weapons aren't coming back up anytime soon, and he is done. And we got a defense drone Mark One, which probably this is probably the best single purchase in the game, uh, because it's especially on an NG ship. Uh, this thing is going to probably shoot down around 99% of incoming missiles on an NG ship because it's so tiny. Uh, the ability for a defense drone to shoot down a, an incoming missile is proportional to the radius or the, the circumference that it has to circle around. And the NG is so small that no matter where the defense drone is when a missile comes in, pretty much all we're going to have an opportunity to shoot. So this was a real boon. This uh, right here probably just vastly increased the likelihood that we're going to win this game uh, completely because now we're going to be able to mitigate a lot of damage. Uh, let's send an away team. Uh, they are out of supplies, but they've got a secret base. 
Let's head up into this nebula here to gain some time. Terrified rock crew. Is it worth it to throw a defense drone against uh, uh, flat cannon one? Sometimes it is. Uh, but we have a lot of health right now. So I'm going to say no. Just on the grounds that we only have six drones. Again, our hull lasers scored for a breach. And we should be able to finish him off. Right here. Our guys are slowly learning their jobs. Uh, we're going to have to uh, head towards that exit now. Same pattern as before. I'm more afraid of that drone than I am of his uh, ion cannon at this point. There he has. Finally got bonus for evasion. Extra two points. And we've knocked him out. And yeah, I think we can hit this one. See if there's anything here worthwhile. Nope. And we're at the exit. Don't sell your drones. I really need them. And we are on to the next sector. Uncharted Nebula or Rebel Controlled. Let's go for the Rebel Controlled. Again, I don't feel like uh, dealing with the Nebulas right now. And there's our quest up there. That's a Secret Federation base might be able to help us out. Let's go aid the Federation ship. Now despite the fact that it looks like he's got a ton of firepower, in fact he doesn't really. Uh, three beams and only one. Uh, one laser. So we've already knocked his shields down one. This is our first two shield ship. So now we're looking at concentrating on his shields over his weapons. Now that I've got his shields knocked down, I can take a shot at his... Oh, actually, you know, let's not even bother. Um, every time I can get an invasion in, that works out well for me. And he's gone. Let's see what the Federation ship has. They give us some, like, some scrap and some fuel. Got a nice hundred scrap here. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, we got a store right here. So let's go uh, look at the nodes around the store and then pull in with uh, our loot and see what we can. Uh, afford. So this is, uh, this is our first real opportunity to use our defense drone. Uh, but he does have uh, this ion blast too, which can knock us back, knock back our shields. But since we're going to be taking care of his missiles, not really worried about that. Uh, this guy's under mind control. He's going to be able to do one damage to the engine, but then he'll immediately repair it. Uh, again, not that big a concern. 
What is a big concern is that he is powering up his FTL. But we were able to take out his shields on the first volley, so now we can start working over his, uh, or take one point off his shield, so now we can start uh, shooting at his con. And we were able to, to hit that. And now, now we can just finish off his shields. Clean him up. Into another asteroid field. So this is uh, this is not as ideal because uh, we're going to need to get our defense drone out to handle that missile, but the incoming asteroids are going to distract it. And that wasn't good either. It just simply got taken out. Luckily, we dodged a whole bunch of crap there. And we were able to take out one layer of his shields. Quickly get our drone back up, handle that incoming missile. We are running low on oxygen, so we have to pay very close attention to that. And our shields just got hit and set on fire, so that is very bad. And well, we're just falling apart here all of a sudden. We are going to rush ourselves to those shields and try and get them up. His shields are out. And I'm hoping that, uh, uh, but now mine are down completely. I need to get them up, because those asteroids are not going to wait. So I'm relying on my defense drone here to... Okay, phew. Got a little squirrely there for a moment, but we uh, pulled through. Get everybody healed back up. This is what I mean about the defense drone on the uh, Inji ship. He's having a field day shooting down those asteroids. We got two stores here, so if we don't see anything we like here, we'll take a pass and immediately look at the second one. So what do we got here? We got hacking. That's good. Um, I don't have anything that we can sell. But as much as ha nice uh, an upgrade as hacking is, I don't need it right now. Uh, so. I'm actually going to pass on that, and we will see what's behind door number two here. And not much better. Um, these, I know a lot of people like ion bombs. Uh, I'm not a big fan. Um, so with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead, and we are actually going to get the hacking now. Uh, to support our weapons. Don't need any repairs. Uh, but we are going to need to put at least one point into hacking to make it act even viable. And now with hacking, th uh, burst of three, a defense drone, uh, we're going to be looking at spending some uh, time upgrading our ship. We want to get some more energy, get more evasion. That's good. We got a reactor upgraded. Yeah. Well, this guy was coming to play. 
So all of that nice evasion that we were doing uh, last time, apparently we failed utterly to do it this time. So let's uh, silence his drones for just a second. This is probably one of the more intense asteroid fields I've seen. They're just coming in fast and furious here. Yeah. So, I can't remember if I've mentioned this before. I know I've mentioned it in other videos that I've done, but you just heard the hull breach sound on an auto ship, and auto ships don't have the ability to repair uh, breaches. So, now that that's breached and destroyed, he's never going to be able to repair that. Uh, big bonus uh, for me. So, I can uh, pretty much take him out at my leisure now, knowing that he's not going to repair. Let's go ahead and get our hacking system back up. Let's go see what they need at this Federation outpost. And they uh, repaired us all the way. Nice. And they gave us a nice chunk of scrap. We'll use that scrap. Let's get an engine upgrade. Let's get two uh, reactor upgrades. So now we've got... Uh, we're able to launch level 2 hacking. That should be able to uh, give us a nice shield-free shot. Uh, with this barrage of ours uh, if we need it and also by just dropping a single point out of uh, the med bay and the oxygen we can power up our defense drone so we're we're in pretty good shape at this point uh, still wouldn't mind having another crew member still wouldn't mind having another weapon uh, but you know not the, the worst possible situation um, gotta head to the exit there's no way we can get down there. Uh, this is an event that can cost you a crew member. You can uh, be sucked out into space, and we don't want to do that, so we're just going to avoid the risk and walk away unscathed. If you got a clone bay, by all means, take the chance, but we don't have that right now. So we have Slaver Scum, and I will, I'm hoping that we can convince this Slaver Scum to give us uh, crew. Uh, his weapons, mildly scary. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but we'll hold on to our hacking for the time being. Now, if this was me, this would be scary because uh, I would be able to know how to charge that thing, but the AI doesn't seem to really just kind of chooses a random number of how far he's going to charge it up. So we've lost a shield bubble for two seconds. Let's see what happens with this shot coming in. Oh, we missed, so we're okay. We're missing badly ourselves here, too. If I get the feeling that my shields are going to go down, I'll go ahead and launch that hacking drone and end this conversation. Alright, I got that hit on the shields that I was looking for. And that just put two breaches into his shield, so his sh he's not going to be repairing those anytime soon. Let's go knock out his weapons. That's also breached. He's going to try and get away on us, but he ain't going to make it. And he's going to give us an NG, and that's what we wanted, so... We'll take that. And now we have our new shield operator. Still, um, 3NG and a, a Zoltan. Certainly we do not have a good anti-boarding crew. 
by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, something to you know, be concerned about uh, at this point. Rocker and Mantis might be something that we want to invest in. And yeah, so we got a choice of going to Mantis Controlled or Slug. Well, tough, tough choices here. Uh, the Slug Controlled Nebula with only six fuel, it's going to be a problem. Uh, Mantis is going to have lots of borders. That's going to be a problem too. Uh, but I'm going to leave it at this. Uh, I showed you what the first three sectors were like uh, and how, generally speaking, you want to get through it. We made it through. We've got an okay weapon set up. Not the best, but we do have hacking. We have a defense drone. We've got okay shields and okay evasion. And that gives you a general idea of what you want to do with uh, the NGB, uh, even on uh, hard advanced. So I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing this run through, and uh, I look forward to uh, any comments that you got. Thanks.